All right, everyone, we're gonna do another unboxing video. I've got four boxes, four more boxes here, and that will have everything open. And then I can just concentrate on cleaning this room. I do have more Star Trek parts coming, and I do have shipment five I could work on. This box right here is Premium Bandai. So let's see what I got from Premium Bandai. I haven't ordered, pre-ordered anything for some time. Almost everything I've pre-ordered has come in. I've quit ordering during divorce. So there shouldn't be too much more showing up. There's a few things on Gundam Planet I pre-ordered, like a dinosaur. Panda has some dinosaur model kits coming out soon. Okay. And I'm doing this so we don't really see my address. Okay, now the premium Bandai boxes tend to come out um, funny colors. And this is the only thing in there. I do have the Master Grade Barbatos around here somewhere. And if you've seen Iron-Blooded Orphans, the Gundam show, you will know that on this show, there is five or six different forms of Barbatos. When they made the Master Grade kit, they didn't want to go through and make six Master Grade kits. So they made an expansion part set. So you can use these parts to change them from the various forms. So that's what this is. This is the expansion grade kit. So I get his big wrench and some of the other stuff, the tail that stabs everyone and stuff like that. Okay. So this is just the expansion parts for Master Grade Barbatos. What is this one? This is another premium Bandai box. Okay. And I know you guys can see me over there. Let's put, open it up and see what's in here. Oh. oh, this is fun. There's only one thing in this box. We'll open this box and take a look in it. Because I was wondering about this kit when I ordered it. Okay. This is a Gundam Astray Nor. I know, I'm using a file as a hobby knife. Bad me. Well, the hobby knife got hidden because my kids were wandering in this room. And I really don't need them in here when they're that little. So I have to figure out what I did with the hobby knives. But anyhow, um, the nor means black. So there should be a lot of black in here. And there is. And it looks like we have screws. Okay. Lots of black. <laughs> Lots of black. Okay. There is some non-black. Right there. It's from Gundam Seed. And there he is there. And of course, it's going to be your usual Gundam build kit. Okay. These directions don't have a whole lot of color to them when they come from Premium Bandai. And yeah, that's a quick look at that. I'm going to just take a look and see if the swords are anything or chrome, which they probably are not. But this is a premium Bandai kit. Yes, they are chromed. Okay. So it could be because it's a premium Bandai kit. And I don't know if these are water slides, but that sure looks like water slides. Looks like this came with water slide decals, which is good because it's one of the things that annoys me. It's tracking down water slide decals for Bandai Gundam kits. Really annoying. So this one might be fun to build. And just so you all know, I did buy some airbrush paint. So I want to airbrush a couple of things coming up pretty soon. All right. Gundam Planet is up next. Now, just because it's Gundam Planet does not mean this is a box of Gundams. Because it may not be. Okay, so keep that in mind. It may not be Gundams. They, it could just be Japanese stuff. They sell Star Wars models from Japan and other things. They're kind of like Hobby Link Japan, only local in the United States. Same with New Type. My address is right there, and I don't want that out. Okay, there's a lot in this box. Here's the invoice we don't need to see. And start opening this up. We have a lot of SD kits. We have a Stargazer. I remember ordering this stuff now. And I've been curious about this guy. I wanted to see what this guy looked like. Okay. It's one of their newer SD kits. And I don't know how much of that is colored plastic. How much of that is stickers. How much of that I have to paint. Okay. And I don't mind brush painting, so that'll be fun. Another SD kit. Okay. 
another SD kit, the SD Freedom, and another SD kit. This is another one of the newer ones with the wild crazy colors on them. So we'll look at that in a second and see what we got in there. And we got sand rock in a master grade sand rock. And at the bottom we have what, ooh, I got a nice little folder. Apparently because I ordered some of these. And it's just a folder to hold things. Okay. And Miri wanted this, so I'm going to have to build it with her. The problem is when she's here, her sisters are here. And they all want to help. And the little ones, they can't really help yet. They're too little. But Miri really, she saw some videos from this on YouTube. And she wanted it. And, well, you know, she's like my princess, so I can't deny her. Okay? And this is one of the figureized kits. If you don't know who this person is, you really should look it up on Google. Just pause the camera right here and go look it up on Google. Look the name up. It's real interesting what this is. It's not a real person. It's all computer generated. I just wanted to look because sometimes some of these, yep, we have it. I thought it would be in here. Um, look at all the different colors that go into molding that face. They're trying to get the color of the face realistic without any paint. So they do different color layers underneath it. So you get the blue eyebrows. You should get some nice gradual shading around the face. I don't want to open this until I'm building the kit. Okay. But I figured they had that in here because some of the figure kits have that. So this ought to be interesting. I'm going to wait till Miri's here before I do any more with that. We'll sit and have an unboxing with her. I can get her sisters playing with their tablets for a little bit and bring Miri in here for a little bit. Let's see what the, this looks like on the inside because I've been curious about these for some time and I want to know if uh, how much painting I'm going to be doing on these. Oh, come on, don't tear the box up. I'm tearing the box up. There's the sticker sheet. You knew there'd be some stickers. Ah, oh, there's a lot of colors in here. But look at that thing. That is begging to be painted. So I'm sure these are being painted like their figure kits. People are treating them just like their figure kits and painting them accordingly. So I'm sure that's what's going on with these. All right, got two more boxes to go. See what we can come up, what we come up with in here. Yeah, and I'm just kind of throwing stuff on the side. Uh, another Gundam planet, and those were all Gundam models in that one. Here's another Gundam planet box. Ugh. I'm just getting my backlog of boxes open tonight. Oh, I know what you are. <laughs> and they send me a happy holidays card. Okay, something that would have gotten the ex really upset with me. How dare you look at that? You're looking at other women and like they're fully clothed. How dare you look at that? You're looking at other women. They're fully clothed. <laughs> it was just that way. Okay, this is the Wing Zero version Caw. Uh, from what I understand, this is a really good kit, an excellent kit. And a lot of people will really like this kit. It's something to work on soon. <laughs> yeah, I got a huge list of something to work on soon, right? But at least I'm getting back to them and starting to work on things. Another Gundam Planet box. This is the last box. Once this one's done, my unboxing videos are done. Maybe I should make a video of my cleaning this room and selling some stuff off. I do plan to sell off some of these model kits that I have in the stash. But that won't be happening soon because I have other priorities. My priorities are to get the house straightened up and to purge <laughs> junk out of here I just don't need. Okay? Like I've got two couches in a room where they don't really fit well. And I only should have one couch. And I only have a need for one couch. So I'm going to be getting rid of a couple of couches. That's the kind of things I need to do. I'm trying to get rid of a dining room table right now. It is a large table and well, no one wants large dining room tables. So I'm probably gonna be selling it really cheap and the thing's worth far more than that. 
for the wood value alone. But no one wants to buy it. I can't get anyone to buy it. Okay, invoices here. There's some handwritten stuff. And apparently they sent some stuff. Oh, wow. I see what there, what's there. Yeah, they had some issues with the order. When I placed this order a long time ago, uh, the Hello Kitty uh, Char's Zaku was part of the order. And they shipped this without because Van Dyke screwed them on it. But that's in the other video. So here we have a Zoid. A Lightning Sax. Zoid. Okay. Now I've been building a... Uh, Panzer Liger, but that's a ripoff. That's not an actual. This is an actual. And I wanted to buy an actual so I could get a look at it and see what they're like. And then there's this bad boy right here. And this is the uh, upgrade version of this thing. This is a real grade kit, so it's a small scale kit. And from my understanding, this is an excellent model, full of great detail. It's almost like a perfect grade kit, only small scale. Okay, and this has the last shooting effect, so it has the diorama base. You need the real grade RX 78 for it to work, and I have him around here somewhere. I got him recently. Yeah, I see it. Nope, that's not his box. He is here somewhere, so I do have both model kits for this. Okay, and this has all the effect parts that you wouldn't get with the normal one. Okay. So this ought to be fun to build sometime soon. And I don't know what I'm going to do with him, whether I'll build him, paint him, or what. I want to get back into painting, but part of me doesn't want to get back into painting, if you know what I'm saying, because I know how much work painting can be on kits. And that's what stopped me at one point before my past was painting. And then I got over it and got into painting. All right, I just opened the Zoids box, so let's see what's in the Zoids box. Okay, I want to see what's in this because I enjoyed building that Panzer Liger. Nice shine to those, nice matte shine, and nice silvery shine. Good color on these sprue. Okay, good color on these sprue. Good color on that. Lots of runners. These my, the inner frame parts may not have too much shine and stuff to them. Uh, looking at this, yeah, there's a lot of sprue to these guys. Just like the knockoff kits. Now, the thing about the non-knockoff kit, the Zoid core is actually round. On the knockoff kits, they're not. And there's a, there's a pilot right there for it. Yeah. And we have more. We have some. These might be rubber. Yep, they're rubber. We have rubber hoses. And that's the yeah, polycaps. We have four polycap sprue. I'm dropping parts. I don't like that. Yeah, there is a lot of parts in this box. And we have a decal sheet down at the bottom. Water slides. Okay, nice water slide. I'm going to pull the directions out while I put all this back so I don't lose parts on the floor. Because I've done that. Now I know I got some parts mixed up for a couple of model kits in here somewhere and I don't like it it's uh, Millennium Falcons I've got a mixture of Millennium Falcon parts in there just a quick look at the <laughs> yeah the ripoffs follow even the same instructions which is sad I'm not buying the ripoffs anymore by the way I didn't know they were ripoffs I thought they were just out of production kits and if they're in production I am not buying them there's a color guide, but looking at those parts, I don't know if this really is going to need too much painting because it looks really good as it is. Being not a ripoff, I probably won't have the issues that I had with the uh, ripoff kit. With the ripoff kit, parts didn't fit, parts broke. I had to fabricate parts. Yeah, there's bad seam lines on it. And I'm not done painting it, so or putting it together. I have like eight steps left. There you go. There's all my unboxings for the last year. <laughs> well, I'm caught up. It's good to go. I can start working on some of the stuff, put some of it away, start cleaning up the room now, getting it organized, and where my daughters could actually come in here and do something while I work. Hope you enjoyed these two videos. I should be back shortly with 
some videos from the Enterprise.